there's nothing more horrible than the sexual abuse of a child, except perhaps for those cases when somebody is falsely accused of it. In this area of the law, more so than in many others, there are many cases of false accusations. Um, there are many cases of innocent people who are being accused of sexual misconduct with a child and arrested and prosecuted and tragically convicted. It is very imperative in a case like this for the defense team, the defense attorney, the defense investigator, to investigate everything about the accuser who's making this allegation. We want to know, first of all, has this child made accusations against other people in the past? And have those accusations proven to be false? We want to know, does this child have a reputation for telling stories and making up lies? We want to know, does this child have behavioral problems? Uh, does this child have a motive, uh, a bias and a motive uh, to make up allegations and stories against this particular adult? We want to pull the child's school records. We want to pull the medical records. We want to pull the counseling records. What we find is a portrait of a child who does have a history of lying and who does have a particular motive uh, to uh, fabricate a story against our client. And when that happens, obviously that will cause the uh, prosecution and the police to rethink their case. The police are going to take the child at the child's word uh, and not scrutinize the allegation. Uh, so uh, for this investigation to take place, to uncover favorable evidence that's going to support the person accused, that's really a job of the defense attorney and the defense investigator. Uh, and if they don't do it, nobody will. And tragically, uh, the failure to investigate thoroughly these sorts of allegations has led to many people across the country being wrongfully convicted.